Did Ronald Johnson have a gun the night he was shot in the back by a Chicago police officer? Prosecutors said yes, and the officer was not charged. But now two investigators are raising critical questions about the video from that night. Here's Brad Edwards. There's no question Ronald Ronnie Man Johnson was running from Chicago police in October 2014 before he was shot dead, as seen in this grainy police dash cam video. But did Johnson have a gun? That's the question. At the time of the shooting, Mr. Johnson was armed with a handgun. So said Cook Johnson County State's attorney Anita Alvarez when announcing that Officer George Hernandez, who fatally shot Johnson, would not face criminal charges. The announcement came days after the Laquan McDonald video was released, showing he was shot 16 times by an officer. People were angry. No justice! No peace! The Johnson decision was highly anticipated. Alvarez outlined the evidence in a nationally televised press conference. All of the evidence that we have points to the fact that Mr. Johnson did indeed have a gun that evening. Evidence that included this video sent to the FBI's Regional Computer Forensics Laboratory, which when enhanced there produced this, what authorities contend was a gun. This is a, an audit trail. Of Enter process. forensic video analyst Grant Fredericks, who reviewed the video at the request of attorneys representing Johnson's mother in a civil suit against the city. The image was resized incorrectly. Fredericks once testified for the state's attorney's office during R. Kelly's criminal trial. He says a series of errors were made that in part stretched the pixels and ultimately, he says in this PDF slide, fabricates shape of a gun. And that's what was done in this case. The question is, what was in his hand? The answer should be, we can't tell. This is the original video image. This one, Frederick says, is properly enhanced and inconclusive. And this one is the FBI lab's version. A false image. It is a false image. This was bad science. We don't make these allegations lightly. It Attorney Michael Oppenheimer, Oppenheimer represents Johnson's family. As anyone said, you got it wrong. Nobody has told us we got it wrong. We asked Alvarez, the Emanuel administration, and the FBI to discuss Frederick's findings on camera. All said no. The officer was cleared in part because evidence showed Johnson was armed. Police said they found this pistol in Johnson's hand. How in the world, unless that gun is glued to his hand, is it staying in his hand after he fell? I simply don't believe it. Officer Hernandez, the only officer to shoot, fired five shots at Johnson. The fatal shot entered his back shoulder and exited near his eye. Johnson's mother. I was watching it like every day. You'd watch the video? It's like reliving a nightmare all over again. And sources close to Alvarez say they relied on the FBI's image, but it wasn't the only factor. They also considered, for example, other officers who said Johnson had a gun and that those officers feared for their lives. A gun again was retrieved, but Johnson's attorney believes it was planted. Robin Erica. So the Johnson family, they have a civil suit, but is right. there any possibility that criminal charges could come in the future since they didn't charge this? Yeah, case? this wouldn't be a case of double jeopardy. The family is ultimately hoping for some type of criminal aspect to this, but right now they're, they're seeking relief in a civil Does realm. false image mean doctored? I mean, it, it, that's obviously semantics. Uh, the expert we talked to said this was just bad science, poorly done, and but but not something he's never seen before. He says this can happen. Okay, Brad, mm -hmm. thank you.